name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up your own video campaigns. Now, this video is part of my Get Google Ready series, where I take you through how to correctly set up all of the campaigns that you need to be using. But I also take it a step further and show you how to optimize those campaigns. But as I said, in this video, it's all about your video campaigns, or as what people would know would be your YouTube campaigns. It's important to note that there is gonna be some changes in this space throughout the year. Video action campaigns, Campaigns, which are video campaigns that drive conversions, they are gonna be switching over to demand gen. So in this video, what I'm gonna be focusing on is I'm gonna take you through the process of setting up either an awareness or a sequence campaign. Now, if you miss any of these steps, I want you to follow the link in the description below because you can get access to my video campaign setup guide, which includes screen shares and takes you through all of the steps. So right now, with all that said, let's jump into a screen share so I can show you how to set up your video campaigns. Now, before you go through and set up video campaign, the one thing that I do wanna make sure is that you've got some specific video ads that have been recorded for this purpose. I don't like repurposing other videos. If I'm gonna do a video campaign in Google Ads, I'll create ads for these. And what you need, do need to make sure I've included this in the guide is just some really quick pointers for your videos. So you wanna make sure you've got a strong hook, remembering you've got to grab their attention because they can skip your ad after six seconds. And then just go through, you know, highlighting a problem, introducing a product, building trust, and having a clear call to action. Now, with your video ads, it is different to other types of Google Ads campaigns is in that with, say for example, search campaigns, campaigns, everyone's got the same character limits. Everyone has to play by the same rules. With video ads, it's very, very different. The success of your campaign will come down to the quality of your ads. So while it is important to get your targeting right, you really need to make sure you're getting your messaging right. So that's why I would generally run into cycles of ads where I'll go through, create some ads, collect the data, then create other ads. And you'll see more about how we do that when we go through the optimization. But right now, let's just focus on setting up your campaigns. So you wanna go inside of Google Ads. When you're in Google Ads, you wanna go through and click new campaign. And what we've got through here, this is a testing account, which I use. So we do have some limited data in here. So I'll just have to explain through some of the options for you, but we're just gonna go through a new campaign. Now for this one, we are just gonna really focusing on awareness and consideration. Now for video campaigns, the one thing I will stress is that I would generally recommend that you create a campaign without a goals notice. The reason for that is because if you were to lock in any of these objectives, it gives you different options further down the page. So that's why we go create a campaign without a goals guidance. Then you go through and select video because that then gives you this screen. Now, the one thing that I will mention is that for drive conversions, that option is going to be changing and that will become a demand gen campaign early in 2025. So I won't show you that option, but you can go through and read all of these different options through here. Also in my video guide, it's got some examples of where we sort of sit the different campaigns, the top of the funnel, middle of the funnel and bottom of the funnel. So what we wanna do through here is, let's go through for an ad sequence. And an ad sequence campaign is we set up some ads where you generally have some introduction ads and then you have a sales ad further down the track. Regardless of which campaign subtype you use, the remaining steps are all gonna be fairly similar. Let's add in a name and this is gonna be for our masterclass. Once we've chosen the subtype, this will generally give us the bid strategy. So because we're not targeting conversions, we can't add in a maximize conversions. If we were to go back and choose, say for example, example, efficient reach, go continue. You can see we don't even have the option there. Or if we were to go through once again and select drive conversions, remember that will eventually be in demand gen. You can add in your conversions. And then when you go to the next step, that's where you can have maximized conversions or target CPA. But as I said, we're gonna go through for the ad sequence, go through and click continue. I've just added in an extra part to that name. So I know what we're talking about. When it comes to campaign total, you can do two things. You can set it as a daily budget or you can set it as a campaign total. Now, the campaign total is where you can basically go through and buy your media and you go, well, we want this to run over the next two months and we're going to have a budget of $1,500. Now, if you have it below a certain level, Google will sometimes jump in and say that you need to spend more. I generally don't follow those recommendations. But it's just something to keep in mind from there. When it comes to your locations, for this one, we're going to be targeting some specific locations and we've added them in here. And then you can go through and choose some selections. So you can go through and if you want to say we don't want it to go to certain age demographics or income demographics, we can add them in through here. Remembering a household income is only available in select countries. Mainly if you're targeting in Europe, you won't have this option. And unfortunately, more and more, this household income is going to be less and less targeting as more government regulations come into the space. What you can also do as well is if you've got some specific videos that you want your ads to show on, 
you can add them in here. And what you need to do is you need to have the URL and you can add it in there. Keep in mind, if you add it into those related videos, you are going to be paying more because you've got some specific targeting. But if you've got some competitors or some industry related videos and you know you just want your ads to appear on that channel, on that video, it's a great way to add it in there. And then there's also some other options that you do have. Let's just say you don't want your ads to appear on TVs or you just want it on mobile phones, so you can go through and add those selections in there. And then it's just a matter of Google has some templates for you. We're just gonna create our own and you just then create the steps. What I've got through here is I've got two videos that I wanna set up and then I've got a sales video. So you add in your URL and then from there, if you want to, you can go through, if you've got some bits that you wanna add in there, We'll just add something in there. Then you add that to the sequence. And let's just say you wanna add in a secondary video. This is where you need to make the decision. And what you can do from there is that you can say, so you only want people who have seen the previous video to see this next video. And that can be broken down to either an impression or a view. So rather than just seeing it, we want them to actually view the video. And that's the way that we're gonna add this in through here, because this is the video which actually has the sales component in it. So what we've done through here is that we've created, we're saying before they see this video, they need to first see this video. Now, the way that you can do it, you could add in multiple steps. So they have to see two or three videos before they see the sales video, but that's the process that we've gone through. And then when you're happy with that, you can go through and click on create campaign. And that's how you set up your video campaigns in Google Ads. Now, that's the process of how you set up your video campaigns. And one thing I do need to stress with your video campaigns that for success with your video campaigns, it really does come down to the quality of your ads. And the reason for that is obviously because you need to be able to get people to really engage with your video because in many cases you're stopping them from watching another YouTube video and you, you've really got to get them to engage. That's why it's really, really important that you've got a correct system for optimizing your video campaigns. And very soon in this series, I'll be taking you through the steps on how to optimize your video campaigns. So to make sure you don't miss out on that video, make sure that you don't only subscribe, but you turn on that notification bell so you can see when that video is released. Right now, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. You can go through and watch the full playlist right here. See ya.